trying to back in the, another little town in stream. I haven't been here since we had all that rain and the floods and everything. And well, there used to be a bridge there. See, gone. So what's the time here? Just gone five past two. So a lot of weather moving in. So we had a bunch here on the way up here. But it's more stormy weather coming, so we're going to get stuck into it. I say, I don't know how long I've got before it uh, really comes in. It's good flow though, looking good. No, oh, I've already hooked and lost one trout. Tossed the spinner on the second jump. I had a white miller on. I made three follows and two socks. Yeah, this river's changed up through here. Hell, so, that flood. So uh, this this is a nice big wide flat slow. Shallow strip of water now, it's a bloody torrent. A few more trees come down up further there. And the big um, gums have all come down across the river on both sides this time. Oh, well. oh there's no way around that. I've got to go under it anyway. It's a, every lure I've tried, I've gone to a gold agony moose now. Every lure I've had put on and tried, I've had a hit on. And I just watched one come up behind the agony gold then and he just charged at it, nipped it on the butt and then took off. So it's, yeah, it's just one of those smash and grab days. I'm sure this weather's got something to do with it. I'm not, so that's just my opinion anyway. But so, Yeah, there's, there, there's aggressions there of them coming up, but they're not, it's like they're not real hungry. They just, yeah, get out of here, it's my area territorial thing. Oh, that was a challenge and a half, I can tell you, getting up through that. But anyway, I'm finally back into some water that I can fight and fish without having to bloody half kill myself. Finally, we have one that's taken the lure. I put a uh, Aglia Fluoro Micro Pigment Brown on. I had an instant hit on it to start with, just by that, all that rubbish there. And I cast up a bit further and then this fella snapped it up first shot. Uh, yes, the size zero, a bit bigger, a bit heavier, will probably stand up better in this flow. So there we go. Guilty. That's pretty lucky, just got him in the net and now popped the lure. So there you go. Up you go, Bubby. There you go, on your way. Oh, oh that's broke the ice. Good for that. I didn't go and fishing today. But I thought like the weather's like it was. It's supposed to come in early, all this weather. And I thought, hadn't happened. And I thought, right, that's it, I'm out of here. I've got to go out and just have a fish close to home. Another little tacker here. Let's move up a little bit further. Yeah, it was just by that irrigation hose there. That uh, water hose there. And he's just coming up and grabbed hold of it. Yeah. Lovely. Alright oh, Bobby, up you go. That's better. Here's a couple of trout, it's always been worth the effort. It's the time when you put all that time in, hours in and don't get nothing, that's when it kicks you in the guts. Oh that's embarrassing isn't it? Look at that little tack. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll get him up quick smart. Little dear little oh, thing. He's on his way. He was taking off that uh, side there, all those rocks are. All those rocks were put there after the 2016 floods to save the river banks and that. But, uh, they probably should have done it both sides of the river. Not very good underfoot wading up through here. Is, uh, the rocks are just rolling un under your feet. It's, the floods take all that fine, uh, all that lovely fine gravelly soil out from between it, like you see up here on this riverbank here. Just here, it's that lovely fine gravel and sandy mix. Well, when the floods come, it takes all that out of the river. So then you're just left with bare rock and they roll underfoot. Another little tiddler. <laughs> oh, look at that little fella. He was taking that little little pool of water right by the riverbank there. There's a little bit of flat water there and I thought it's probably be it could be a trout in that and uh, 
Yeah, this little bugger. Wow, oh, look at that. Look at that washed out. And those uh, big boulders there didn't stop anything there. The water got around him behind it and just took that whole, whole corner out. Unreal. What's going on here? The river's full of sardines here. There's another little, another little tucker. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'll be buggered. Where's the bigger ones gone? The whole corner of this poor bugger's property has been taken out here. Where all that timber is there. It's uh, what he replaced after the 2016 flood and took, it, took, took his river out, took a corner out. He replaced put all that timber right up there to, to that, the far end there where that uh, river embankment is. And that water's come in and ripped the whole lot out. All that work. Concreted all in, staked it, the whole thing. And yeah, it's the power of water, isn't it? Another little sardine out here. I just had a bigger one come up. Look how he's going to take it. And then this little thing come in from nowhere and just put <laughs> push him out the road and that he took hold of it. Oh dear. Oh, he finally got on the decent fish. Best fish of the day, too. <laughs> now it's taking in this washout. I saw a little trout jump in here and I thought I'm going to flick up the top there. And uh, yeah. This, this lovely beautifully coloured brown snapped out of it. Right, lovely. Look at that beautiful fish. On your way, fella. Oh, I don't know. We'll another flick up through there too before we get back onto the mainstream. Oh, not again. <laughs> There's a decent fish in that pool. I saw him moving in there. <laughs> and he jumped in first. Little buggers. Oh, I'll just come back down by the river here. I'm just going to have a click in there and I'll uh, head up under the bridge. Not where that water's running, that's for sure. And uh, but on that side there and I'll just make my way up around there. Maybe have to get up and go along the paddocks and get back in again further up. Second cast and run the fish. The only thing was <laughs> having a go at me Andy Kink. <laughs> I had to give it a give it a quick jerk and I brought that past past the fish and then he saw the saw the lure and, and uh, yeah ping the lure. That's on my second cast. First cast I had an instant hit from a smaller trout, but yeah this fella he grabbed it on the Grand Island, so good start. Lovely oh, start. He's on his way. And he's just got a photo of him. I had him up here on the riverbank here and got the photo of him and then he just spat the hook. And I just had to put me and then easing back straight back in the river. So, trout number nine. There's been little trout jumping everywhere here. I hooked one, had it right in it. Oh, they're so little. It's a good sign though, at least there's been um, the body from last year spawning. One uh, just broke the surface there then. Might have been a bit bigger than the tiddler. I'll just throw my lure up that side and bring it down. See what happens. There we go. Look at that. Actually, he's not the smallest one of the day anyway. <laughs> and that was a miscast. The wind caught my lure and flung, shot it across and ponked it next to the at, uh, left river bank. And uh, yeah, this little fella's grabbed hold of it. Uh, anyway, we'll get him off and send him home. Now that is not looking good. <laughs> very, very black. He's on fully. Only a couple hundred metres from the car. It's not still, if that hits, I'll get drenched anyway, but oh well, doesn't matter. I'm going to keep fishing on and see what happens. A bit of rain starting to arrive, but that, that hole there, that stretch of river, is all washed out. I started getting across there and it was just nearly, nearly uh, the steepest where I had to get under logs earlier. So uh, yeah, I bypassed it. Rain's, rain's arrived now too. Okay. Oh, I got a little tiddler. It's number 11. Even though it's built down, it's saturated from rain. I thought I'm going to push onto this bridge. <laughs> so anyway, we'll get him off and send him home. Yeah, so he was just picked up off that left riverbank there. The rain's eased a bit now. And so you can actually... I don't know if you can see it or not. You can just about see Mount Rolling for it now. A bit of sun on Mount Rolling up there. Look at that. 
I'll be back. There's another one as the rain gets heavier. <laughs> oh dear. There you go, I'm heading back into Sheffield and it's as dry as a bloody boat. Here I am sitting in the car saturated. Nice oh, short and sweet, I'm home. I'm, I'm, it was too wet up there to do the thing, so anyway, I'm home, 13 trout caught, released those, yeah, it's just a day of tiddlers, but one thing it just goes to show you, keep changing your lures. I mean, if the trout are there and you're getting little hits and they're coming up behind it and not grabbing the lure, keep changing and changing it, eventually one will work. And it did today, that proves it today, when they, when they just went for the um, ugly brown micropigment. They loved it, you know? So, um, yeah. No, that was a good little practice, right? A bit of fun, you know. That's a good sign, little trout in the rivers and um, only, only yearling and probably one, two-year-old fish. And, uh, yeah, probably, uh, uh, I, you know, if I'd hooked every one that had hit the line there, they'd had hooked and lost now. I could have had probably nearly close on 20 trout caught and released. So. But, uh, yeah, four medium trout amongst it. But, yeah, other than that, it was good fun. So next time, guys, tight lines. Mm -hmm.